now they're just gonna push it. Oh my god, Arteezy takes so much damage. He has the Aegis, he gets his ulti up on the backside. Big ulti from 33, Roar comes off. No one's dead yet, not even Arteezy. Right clicks flying, Grave is gonna be on 33. They're gonna bring down Pycat, Buyback gonna come out again. CC and C sucking Bulba, they're sucking each other. It's the double Zuck. Arteezy's trying to click, good game called. And he will get the kill. What a game from EG. Honestly, they played not being able to get experience anymore because he wasn't sitting in a lane after they get so successful and there is a pause that allows us to work around a little bit more i think uh i'm pretty sure bulldog's about to get scolded yep i knew it i knew it mm. <laughs> i should not be so satisfied about this i'm just happy that i knew the rule book honestly nothing else <laughs> uh, oh bulldog Oh, Bulldog, you started this drama with Star Ladder. Now you're starting it with Epicenter. This time, though, you are in the lobby, so I think they're in the clear. I think they are indeed in the clear. Get a big curse to take out Lycan. That would be huge. He's splitting up, though. Curse, though. Yeah, with the curse, BKP, as in jumps a Tidehunter. Meanwhile, back to the middle lane over here. They kill two for themselves. So Tidehunter trying to assist. Lycan all in with the BKP. Ravage, though. Ravage going to be used. And Lycan in trouble. Has a second Ravage if he needs it right here. He might need to. Winter's curse on him. Doing a little bit of damage. Delaying this as well. Back to the dire base. You see the second tier four still alive. Can they kill Lycan? It looks like they are. Lycan's dead. Double Dimension just might be doing him, but back at the base, our man is going to try to delay as much as possible. He's going to go down. The Tier 4 is dead. The Radiant Beast, the Wolves are still killing it. They need to kill those freaking Wolves. The Shivas use everything. Lycan's back in right here. Back to the dire one. <laughs> trying to finish it off. He's getting distracted now. Back over here. The Radiant, the Radiant Agent, it's going to fall. Penta will take it. GG, well played. Oh, Weeha was about to die back in the base. The very last. They can't kill anyone. Oh, I have a fucking first stuff. Oh my god, look at the walkers, oh, dude! Oh, Jesus oh, Christ! Christ. Oh, disgusting. Uh, Two times four walkers or whatever, and then laser on every single one of them. With the flax coming too. Yeah, sure. he's definitely under threat of dying every time he uh, walks up versus that. Again, Cuckoo mid to get the sleep, but Tims is here this time with the stun. Yep, let's see what they can get lined up. They get the first strike through onto the gyro. Battery salt. Armel is taking a lot of damage though. The return fire coming in, post the fairy fire and the stick charge is the paralyzing Carl oh though. God. Bouncing around Armel, he'll go down. Carl is still alive for now. He's keeping his distance. Lumix dive in the tower. So he's going to come back in. Carl, he wants to get involved in this. He swags himself back in under the tower and takes the double kill and gets out. Can't wait around any longer. The throne is exposed and now they jump straight and there's a lasso straight on to Devara. They do kill off Kick Track instantly and without the IO, he has no easy way out of this. Ritsu finally shows up, but Odie's already so low on HP. They'll go to walk on him. Can they kill him? No, the sun is eclipse. The turnaround snaking. He runs to the high hills, leaves SVG behind. The only one left alive is a Batrider and GG called. That Sanity's Eclipse wins them that match. And it looked like they might have actually had that for a second on night. ...in secret, or pardon me, Spirit will TP to their shrine and try to clean up. I think now the retreat might be had. No, Navi actually want to go back Lil in. No it's General Lil on the other no side, oh, and Pikachu, Pikachu getting no isolated by Dendi and Co. This Phantom Lancer goes in hard, FNG drops the ult, but it might not be enough to save him. And now up top, Pikachu will be stuck in a 4v1. Oh, killed the him anyway. song and dance. Uh-oh, Snowball, it might break this up enough. Pikachu stays alive. Now on the other side, Crystallize with a close duel. Lil actually will finish off Moon, but it's going to turn back the other way now. It's a three for two. Navi getting reinforcements from the low ground. Stun on two, nicely placed by General, but everyone's so low on mana except this Tusk. He is going to throw some shards. He blocks out Lil. It's a snowball in. He should be able to find this kill. It's unbelievably not over yet. Illidan trying to finish off Lil is going to get tossed down. They get too greedy with it. However, they do bring, in, bring down Lil in the end. They have to lose their tusk. This is an insane back and forth. Toss back and finish off the Tusk, or at least force him into a snowball. One more right click from Jarex, though, will be the finishing blow for Hobbite. And Tusk blinking down, he had the Blink Dagger to be able to maintain his mobility. Shen goes forward, it's a donkey with a dream. And that dream will be ending along with his life.
Bulldog. Chucks out a couple of spells in the middle of that team fight, and that's his contribution. That's done. That's it. And uh, unfortunately, star power aside, you know, celebrity in Bulldog really is just a celebrity at this point. He doesn't really seem to be keeping up too effectively with the high level of play that is going on on the S on the S4 side, on the OG side. I've turned this into OG into S4 versus Bulldog already. What an absolute dream this is. Storm, 